Nürburgring, longest circuit in the series and the toughest. Surtees in Honda. Hill, Lotus Ford. Stewart, BRM. Brabham, Repco Brabham. And Jim Clark, again first on the grid. Dan Gurney, Eagle Wesley, and Bruce McLaren, the same. Two lotuses up front, but that dust storm is Hill revolving at South Bend, and when he reappears, he's at the back of the pack. Clark, Hulm, Brabham, and Gurney, tightly bunched. Clark, a punctured rear tyre, lack of balance in the car and suspension almost gone. Suspension trouble too for Graham Hill. Quick tighten up all round. suspension trouble and this time it's for good
change and change about until the flag falls on Denny Helm. Brabham and Eamon making 2-3. It was early in the morning at Snetterton, and only days before the first Grand Prix outing that the Lotus Ford first got the feel of a track under its wheels. As is the first time, Graham, could you do five laps and then bring it in and let us have a look at it, please? Yes, is there any... Um, any uh, made the motor work. He drove it, tested it. At one point he even broke it, just a little. But he liked it. Well, it's such a poke. It is. On a bad old tool. Do you think we'll have it um, ready in time for Zambor? Oh, I hope so. Should do, I think. Yeah, we should go well there. I think we'll have to probably all one and two little things, but it certainly gets up and goes. Very yeah. impressive. It's going to be like in the wet, so that's my problem. Mossport, Canada, and an awful lot of rain in the sky. teams choose dry tyres. So, it rains, and rains, and rains. Denny Hulm leads, but drying out brings Clark, Brabham and Hill well into the picture. Somewhere out there, Clark has taken the lead.
but the clock lead is for less than a lap. The returning rain finds its way into the car's transistor.